not okay. <laughs> the second we started making real power, this thing just wanted to do backflip. 14 years old, 1400 horsepower. She's a savage. We're back, another episode, Hunicorn vs. World Season 2, now with faster cars. And now with a lot less Ken Block. Sorry, Ken, bye. This season, if you missed the previous episodes, we have replaced Ken with his daughter, Leah Block, who is 14 years old. And she's driving what? 1400 horsepower Mustang. <laughs> So this whole season is really just to get back at you guys. We heard you, so we scoured the internet, got the fastest cars that were willing to race on this horrible drag strip. Yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> so there's some really sketchy matchups, some really fast cars. Enjoy. Here's the deal, Unicorn vs. the World Season 2, made possible by our video game partner, CSR2. And you can even get this bad boy. You can get this car in the game. All you gotta do is download it. 300 different cars, you can tune them. There's like millions and millions of people playing this game, except for you. Thanks. Get your phone out, download it, so we can make more Hunicorn vs. the World. Don't you understand how business works? Do us a favor. Do it. We said we'd bring fast cars, and we're delivering. This car just got a seven second time slip. You've seen it all over YouTube. The motor's in the back. It's got a big turbo, makes boost. It's got a boy, does wheelies. It's a car you guys actually asked for to be on the show. So here it is, a real good David and Goliath story. Let's go check it out. What's up, Kyle? What's up? So quick, this is how it always starts. We know who you are, but tell them who you are and what car you brought. My name is Kyle, I'm from the Boost Boys, and this is my 1991 Toyota MR2. This is actually a Honda-powered MR2. <laughs> she has a big turbo, like Hurt said, motor's in the back. That's currently the fastest one in the world. It was the first MR2 to run a seven second pass in the quarter mile. God damn, and seven what? 798, I believe, at 182 miles an hour. <laughs> Seven thirty! Woo! Let's go! 182. How much anger did that cause that you did that with a Honda motor? There were some Toyota guys that weren't too happy about it. I know some of the purists don't like the Honda swap in the Toyota. It's an abomination! But is it though? Well, let's Can we go, go right to the, the back? Yeah. Yeah. The party's in the back. I gotta get the jack handle out. Yo, by the way, pop. before you even pop this, I just love the exhaust is like right past the chute. Yeah, she did uh, get the chute a little hot. Little on this burn side. mark right here. Oh, I love one of down. the biggest safety features for drag racing. <laughs> You're just shooting fire at it. It's just, <laughs> it may or may not catch on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I respect the jack handle. It's actually one of your guys' I just found it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fully built Honda K20 engine. It's a sleeved aluminum rod motor. What type of power numbers are we talking? The most we've made on the dyno was 11. 106 on a hub dyno, Whew. and we've turned it up slightly since then. It's a healthy 1300 oh. horsepower to the crank. 1300 yeah. crank horsepower out of a four cylinder. And what like is this weigh? Meter. What does this thing weigh? Uh, with together? me in it, it's like 2300. With you in it? Yeah. Holy crap, yeah, that's weigh, light. Two, we, almost a thousand pounds. Yeah, when we went for the seven second pass, we gutted everything we could, and weight is a huge issue on these because the engine's in the back to set it up for drag racing. God the weight damn. bias is not there because the second we started making real power, this thing just wanted to do backflips and we've actually put this thing on the bumper a couple times. <laughs> We carbon fibered everything we could, get as much weight out of the rear as possible. It has 
a 100 pound weight plate on the front, just made out of mild steel. Our fuel cells on the very front, our water boxes on the very front, and we actually got it pretty close to a 50 50 weight. So you split. got it so light, you had to start adding weight back in. It's at that point to now where we add it where we need it. So let's talk transmission, ECU. Like, what are we working with here? For the transmission, it has a Quaif sequential five speed Ooh. transmission. We still use a clutch pedal and it still drives like a normal H pattern car, but it is just in a sequential pattern. That's a dog box set built and designed for drag racing. It is on a fuel tech engine management, which that was a huge game changer. After we went to the fuel tech, we added a front laser height sensor for when it is at the track and stuff. And that's what really got Damn, us dialed in because sick. we were doing the massive wheelies. And now there's actually a company called Banner makes a laser height sensor that is right up under the nose of the car. And the second it sees those front tires, come Holy off the ground, shit. it pulls track so, control for wheels. And it can literally, it is, it's That's just wheelie wow. control. We, like, we're not big drag racers. If you, if you ever so. rode BMX, yeah. it's hitting the brake while doing Whoa. the manual. Yo, I didn't even know that technology <laughs> existed. Yeah, we should talk about tires real quick. This is pretty small, 26? Yeah, it's a 26, nothing crazy. m and Race Masters. Yep, m and is just a 26 by eight and a half by 15. I see the brakes are period correct from the 1980s. Yep, those are the ones she came with. <laughs> bad brakes, bad choices. Uh. So nothing right. too fancy up here. I just want to know where the lasers are. <laughs> Since Ken feels out fancied by a car that has more tech than his, let's, let's go, look, go look at the Hunicorn. We started an eBay store. Woo! That's right, we got an eBay store. We're putting stuff on, we're selling stuff. We got things like the seats out of a car that has been to Saudi Arabia. This thing is probably more well-traveled than you. It's been partially on fire. It has a bunch of Mike Adia's farts. Also, set of wheels. Original ones from the merch van. These wheels beat the unicorn, and you can own them. This connecting rod is out of an 11,000 horsepower top fuel dragster, and it actually ran inside of a motor. And it's only this clean, because they only run these for like three seconds, and then they just like throw them out. So we took it out of the trash for you. Look at that thing, put it in your Civic. Ask someone how much that'll cost. Anyway, we got all this in our eBay store and more updated every week. Hit the link in the description, ebay.com slash str slash hoonigan. Buy the stuff, throw some bids out. You can get some stuff right out of Ken Block's pit. Shit on all your friends' garage banners with this ultimate garage banner of all time. All right, if you don't already know about the Hunicorn, we're gonna give you the quick, quick rundown on it. It's 1,400 horsepower coming out of a V8 with twin turbos. The motor's been plucked out of a NASCAR. It runs on meth, as in methanol. It's running a six-speed all-wheel drive setup. Uh, it's a Sadev Trans in here. We've actually just upgraded to a paddle shift setup for it, so it's actually Shifts a lot faster. It also has the sauce turned up a little bit. So 1400 is kind of a ballpark. We're probably a little bit higher than that, but we've worked out a few other details. It's never supposed to be a drag car. Now it's a little bit more of a drag car. Running some bigger tires than we were last time, but still staying on a street drag radial. We have a brand new wheel on here. We've got an American Racing VF503, which uh, is actually based on the old school, like D-Window, which is one of my favorite wheels, but it's a modernized version, a lot lighter, made of aluminum, forged. Yeah, it's the Hunicorn, you should know about it. I think though, like we're sandbagging, because we have one big- Big surprise. We have one other big change. You want to hit him with it? You want me to hit him with it? I, I think you, you... All right, so we have one other pretty kind of like big mod or big change. It's a weight reduction, right? It's a, weight, it's a really good weight reduction. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I put it together, bro. Because I did tell you. <laughs> I put it together. He asked me, I said you're racing block. He guessed it. He guessed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Leah Block, our 100 pound weight reduction. <laughs> She's, yeah, driver mod. She's 14 years old, 1400 horsepower. We figured those two went well together. 100 horsepower so. a year. Right so, down down. Each year she gets older, you gotta keep cranking oh, it but up. <laughs> do you have a driver's license? Nope. But you do have an NHRA license that we got you about four weeks ago. No, She's, two weeks ago. Two, yeah. <laughs> so, and you've only driven this car two days, right? Yes. So the one thing you have in your advantage is he has eight or six years of this car yeah six years of driving this car she's got a few weeks so a few days a few, a few days, days. not to worry you i watched her drive one day and she's stone cold yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right so you guys have seen the show i hope you've watched yeah. it we do a thousand foot heads up which means from a dig from there you can negotiate anything you want to try to win so yeah i say that's a good starting point Let's go race. further. all right so i know what you're thinking 1400 horsepower driven by a 14 year old girl that doesn't even have a license maybe kind of sketchy not so much while i might put my safety third here at Hoonigan when it comes to kids, we don't fuck around. So to get Leah prepared to drive this unicorn and for these races, we put her through an extremely intensive training
Training Program with some of the best professional drivers in the world. I'm just gonna have to go hands down from Newcorn here. I love the Booster Boys car. It's definitely fast. I know it runs a seven on a prep surface. This isn't prep. Well, I have to stick with the Hunicorn on this one. It's a no prep surface. This thing's a featherweight, but Hunicorn for me. Leah is actually faster than her father, but this is one of my favorite cars. So I'm, I'm rooting for the MR2. This thing is like the weight of a paper airplane, basically a big rubber band on it. Poof, you can fly. I'm gonna have to go with the Hunicorn, sorry. Leah's a ripper behind the wheel, but she might not be a seasoned trash talker like us. So I'm gonna be her stand-in negotiator, shit talker. If you ask why Vinny. So Team Leah. He's the second most grizzled person in the group. Look at that grizzle. Who's number one? Soupy. Oh, God, I'm behind him. It's cause he's just older. It comes with age. When we threw turbos on the Hunicorn, we actually needed a little extra spicy sauce. We call it meth, but really it's VP Racing Fuels M5. Now they make a bunch of fluids that we run on this car, like a 622 brake fluid. Stay frosty coolant, prograde engine oil, whatever you need. But the meth, that's the spicy stuff. Time is that's the sage tree. She I saged him. She, she saged him. him. Yeah, what is it like driving this car? You realize that forever your dad would drive this car. And we were like, one day, Ken is just gonna like let one of us drive it. It's gonna feel super charitable. He's gonna say, you know what? We'll let those Hoonigan guys drive it. No way. But you stole the seat. Oh how is it? How is driving this thing? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. It's I fun. Guess, yeah. All right, what are we doing? I'm thinking. By the way, it was a four car. Yeah, four, car gap. four car gap. So it was a four car gap. With a little bit of a jump. They both jumped. They both she just jumped first. I, I, I let it pull through the e brake a little bit and then she took off. She saw the bump and then I chased, so messed up there. I'm thinking give us two cars in the hit. Two cars and the hit? Two cars forward, two cars back. Two car length back, uh, and then yeah, she just go goes where she hit. sees us go. Yeah. Yep, yep. so two lengths and you're hit. I mean, she's young, she's got that reaction time. She, she, she was faster than my lasers. <laughs> 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 All right, you heard it. Leah's gonna get uh, two cars back and goes off of Kyle's hit. Yo. <laughs> hey, don't you start that with me. Are you first... more nervous uh, yes, outside of the car yes, watching your daughter nervous. than inside the car? Hell yes. Compare this to Evo Corner. <sighs> Level of nervous. Because you look it's way close. more nervous right <laughs> now. Congratulations, you absolutely terrified your father. <laughs> Ooh, well done, well done. How'd that feel, Jason? Is, is, it more, is it more fun when you have to like actually run someone down? And then you pass them and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Dang! <That's> Man! <laughs> Alright, Leo, so you officially won. Congratulations. Hey. Nice work, but... What we have to do, we want, you to we want to give him a third race. We want to see the cars even with each other again. So we'll do one more race. So what, what, are we, what do we want to ask for? I'm giving them Soupy for the negotiation. <laughs> they get to keep Soupy? Not forever. Oh, okay. I was going to so soupy. Soupy. We have cars Soupy's to build. Gonna help them negotiate against Vince so we get a good race. Oh, you ain't got shit. shit. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> negotiations were short. The negotiations never took place. All right, last race. We're trying to line it yeah. up to be a little yeah. more yeah. fair. So we're going to put Lee at the line. Kyle's going to go a little bit forward. Three cars 
cars, Kyle gets a hit. She's got it. She's got it. That's pedaling. She said driving oh, straight so boring. boring. She's I adding a chicane. Yeah. She's yeah. adding a chicane. <laughs> Could have let him win. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Thanks yeah. for coming all the way out, man. Look, yeah, just to course. give everybody some Was context. Was that last race a good one for you, though? I mean, you That's guys are it. a car. You're asking him a trick question because none of these races are a good race for him because he has a drag yeah. car yeah, on, a, on a dirt road. A good race. <laughs> We're definitely if, not no prep race. If he had the van, it might have been a different story. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, of course. Man's hand. <laughs> We've only taught her how to drive a car and nothing about like politeness or anything like that. She yeah, hasn't gotten yeah, the really good at driving that car. Yeah. Dude, it's that a traction is... game. Look, there's marks all the way down to the yeah, thousand the right whole here. Way. The whole all way. All the way to the yeah, finish line. We're basically is... just doing a burnout while you guys are Burnout. Right. Right. Yeah. Burnout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With yeah. traction control, yeah, too. I'm so. just bummed that we didn't get to see the lasers in action. Ah. we go to a drag strip. Yeah. I told him, I said, we go to a drag strip, we'll invite him back out. Yeah, so yeah, turn the lasers off and do a sick wheelie for everybody. Oh yeah. Is it time to make the donuts? Episode of this first that today got hurt. What are you driving today, bud? The Honda car. No way, Ken. Nope. You 